I recently used a corneometer to show you how this viral Korean face mask actually is legit, and it sold out. But the biggest question you had was how long do these results last? 30 minutes? Several hours? Well, it's back in stock now, so I went full on science nerd again to find out, and I think you'll find the results pretty interesting. Now this time, I only used the mask on half my face. That way I could create a control of normal skin to compare to. After washing, I then left it on overnight and measured hydration over time the next day and compared it to the skin which never had the mask. I ended up only using the top half of the mask because it was really difficult to get only half of the bottom half to stay on. And it was giving Phantom of the Opera vibes and I'm here for that. But let's get to the results. And this time I graphed them for you. I started measuring hydration 30 minutes after waking up and as expected the hydration on the mask side jumped from 15 to 48 while the non-treated side actually decreased. I then measured again at 60 minutes and 90 minutes and you can see the hydration start to decrease down to 34 which is still significantly increased from baseline. Next I applied my daily sunscreen because I wanted to go about my day. Hydration did go up as you'd expect, but it went up higher on the mask side compared to the control side, which is a good thing. But after three hours, the hydration started to fall back towards baseline. So what's this mean? Number one, the mask results last for a couple hours after removal. Two, it can boost hydration even after applying other skincare. And three, unfortunately the results don't last all day. But I still think this is a great unique mask and perfect before events or anything where you want that glass skin look. Remember, these are just one person's results. For a true scientific approach, you'd want to repeat this in all skin types and have many participants. It still should be linked below if you want to try it out.